When you're on a research team and it's time to share your findings, you might be thinking about publishing a paper. Let's take a walk through what that process will look like, keeping in mind when patient partners are involved. Chances are you'll meet about the paper's topic and main points, who will lead the writing, how everyone on the team can contribute, and which journal you'd like to share your work in. You may want to think about how reputable the journal is and if it's open access. Everyone should understand what the publication process will look like from the start. Ideally, authorship and its differences with acknowledgement should be discussed at this stage or earlier. There are general criteria on what constitutes authorship that all team members should be aware of. And if they qualify, patient partners should have a say in if they wish to be authors and how their role and contributions will be described in the paper. So based on the team's discussion and the journal's guidelines, the lead author writes the first draft. Remember, this is an iterative process, so a few rounds of revisions are expected. You can offer different ways to contribute based on what works for your team members, which may be different for patient partners versus other members of the team. Some people may focus input on their areas of interest or expertise, like patient engagement or statistics. Once all the authors have signed off on the draft and provided their affiliations and disclosures, it's time to submit to the journal. The lead author writes a cover letter to the journal's editor that describes how the paper fits the journal's scope and readership. And the lead author provides the files for submission to the team's corresponding author, who is usually the senior researcher on the team. The corresponding author receives communications and updates about the paper from the journal throughout the peer review and publication process, and their name usually appears last in the list of authors. Some teams submit to a journal and a preprint server at the same time, so the paper and study findings can be shared on the preprint server for anyone to see before it's peer reviewed and published. Now it's time to let the team know the paper has been submitted. After a few months of waiting for peer reviewers who are experts in the field to comment on the paper, the corresponding author is told the decision. Accept it as is, minor revisions, major revisions, or rejected. Then the lead author shares the decision in the peer reviewer's comments with the team to discuss next steps. Revisions are expected and you have a team to work together with. The lead author creates a document with responses to all of the reviewer's comments about how each one was addressed or not addressed and why, if that's the case. Just like before, the lead author shares these documents for the team to comment and sign off on. Then we rinse and repeat and await the journal's decision. When the paper is accepted, the corresponding author reviews one last time, signing off on a proof of what the final paper will look like. Then the loose ends are tied up, like the corresponding author paying fees if the article is open access. Finally, when the corresponding author has sent the publication link, it's time to celebrate. The paper can now be shared and you can rest easy knowing you nailed the publication process.